Hi guys. Uh, so recently, as you uh, as you know, I have bought a new the new refractor telescope, the Skywatcher Evoguide 50D. It came in this box. This is what comes with the box. You have the refractor. This is a guide scope, but it's uh, it has really good quality glass, so it's the same as a refractor, and you can use it as a guide scope as well. Has this foot that you can screw on. This I will talk about later. Get it out. A second. Okay. Here it is. It's a, it's a, a specified 50 millimeters. It's just a very good uh, telescope and. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a fan of Dobsonians, but I needed a refractor for bigger targets like Andromeda, uh, like galaxies, with big galaxies like uh, big nebula, sorry, like Rosette Nebula, all that stuff. It's, it's all very big, so you can't get it with a Newtonian telescope. It's very simple to use. You have, you can uh, have the dovetail here to screw it. I use my Skywatcher Virtuoso mount or an equatorial mount, depends what you have. You screw, just screw it on and I bought the field flattener as well this was about 100 more it's very cheap normally field flatteners are like 300 by its by by their own and uh, the uh, around the edges there's no coma at all it's so pinpoint starts till the end till the edges with my ASI 294 sensor so it's that's uh, very good you focus with this focus in and out you have a screw to lock it here and uh, we'll open this you can see the glass it's a fully multi-coated ED glass it's an apochromatic uh, doublet I, 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 I think doublet telescope yes it has no chromatic aberration which is the reason why I bought it let me remove the, the field flattener you can see it just screws on now normally if you want to use it for daytime use or uh, for viewing with visual you have to screw in this uh, 40 millimeter I believe extension I don't know if it's 40 millimeter but I think so uh, it has this cover to take off and it's what I like most about this telescope is it's all metal. It has no plastic in it. All of it is metal. So it's very sturdy. And these are to lock to lock the eyepiece or whatever you're putting on. You just screw this for visual like this. If I can if I can find the thread. <laughs> okay. Let's screw it on. You have this, uh, this cover here to remove. Okay. Now you just put the eyepiece here and here and lock it off. And uh, this, uh, as I explained before, to focus with an eyepiece, you need to use this. It's just a spacer. Let me open it. Uh, spacer that you put uh, in the eyepiece barrel you just uh, put it put this in the eyepiece in the the silver part of the eyepiece and then it will it will stick when you put the eyepiece in it will stick between this one and the eyepiece and th this distance this thickness will give you uh, will, uh, will allow you to achieve focus with an eyepiece you can also Put, leave this light, the IP slightly out, but this enables you to get perfect focus without doing so. And as I said, I really like this one. But as you can see, it's all metal as well. The flattener, even the caps are metal, so it's very, very good quality. And I already took some, some pictures with this. I will put them at the end of this video. I believe, uh, if I remember right, it was about 380 euros, all, of, all included with shipping. And everything, I bought it from a German website that I trust. 
And basically that's all. These are the screws. They were in here. I removed them. Uh, and that's it. Maybe I don't guide it, but but uh, because I have an Altes mount. But if you need to guide it, you have to purchase a separate mount for for uh, to put a guide scope on. Uh, and that's it basically. I will put uh, images that I took with this uh, behind this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video so the algorithm can help me if uh, my videos will uh, expand more. And I love to do, to do astronomy videos, so follow follow me. Even I have TikTok and uh, Instagram as well, where you can follow me there. And thank you very much for watching, and I see you see you next time. Cheers, guys.